Right, here's the Riverboat song by Ocean Colour Scene. I'm going to demo it to you first. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, right, let's look at the tabs. So you notice it is in 6-8, and it is kind of like a blues, blues progression, uh, but in 6-8 it sounds a bit strange, but in a good way. So really, the main riff is this. You'll see it goes. Now to get that smooth, you need to do a little technique going from this 7 here, back up to the 7 again. So let's just work out what the main riff is, the three notes. So seven on the top string, five and seven on the string below it, the fifth string. Now you want to start on your third finger, so then the fifth fret is your first finger. So I'll show you what I mean by that, so here. Now what you don't want to do is this, where you're going taking that off to go to there because you'll get a kind of you'll get a kind of like weird fast note just just as you're coming off that to come back to that so what I suggest is you start off with this flat on them two strings and just put the top one and then you take it off for the five and then you put it flat again for the one on the fifth string now what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to hit this string and cut off the previous string so i'll hit that string the fifth string watch this see as soon as i go to pluck the top string my finger just does this it cuts off from that string and just folds onto that string above it so 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 when I played that, I roll onto that. That's how you get that little technique. So it's always hard when you're playing a note and you're playing the next note string above it or string below it. There's always kind of like this tiny little delay of space. So you need to use little techniques like that. I usually call it like a seesaw because you're rolling from one string to the other rather than taking your finger off like that. You're not doing that, you're doing this. So when you go to the next string, the other one automatically lifts off, so you don't have to mute it. All right, so it does that, uh, this. It does that four times, so I'll show you on the, on the tab here. So yeah, four times, so watch. Okay, so that's four times. And then it goes up to the, the 14th fret, on the starting on the 5th string, and it does the same riff, same pattern, but just in a different area of the guitar. So get your 3rd finger on the 14th fret, that's on the 5th string there. It should sound like this. Basically it's the same notes, but up an octave, so it's the same sounding notes. So there, 14. So you can always tell by the two dots of the 12. 13, 14. So I'm on the fifth string, doing the same riff. So that happens twice round that. And then you do the same riff but move down a string. So you're starting that on the fourth string. So that should sound like. Now don't let this confuse you because the note that was just before it ended on that 14 and then you're playing it but you you just have to shift your sort of fingers down so you sort of start this bit on the note that you ended on if you look there I'll play you this and then on that same note I'll let you see that up front And then 
it goes back to the very start riff and it plays it twice. So I'll just do that twice. And then we've got this little lead line, which I'm going to just demonstrate to you again, which goes like this. So I'll do it slowly. Okay, so the first very little bit of that is this this here. So you got the tenth fret on the first string, and then the twelfth fret on the second string, and it goes ten, twelve, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, ten. So don't go to a little 12 here, it, it starts on 10 and ends on 10. So that goes, that's the rhythm for that, I'm going to show it you up front. So, yeah. so the 10 I'm using my first finger, the 12 my third finger on the string above it. Because then I'm going to use my third finger on the first string if you can see here and it bends it fully up and down on the first string so you've got to keep the pressure all the way there you can't just lift it off at the top it's so i'll show you what that looks like so i'm keeping the pressure down the 10 yeah see there back to the 10 then you got this fiddly little thing here which goes 7 10 7 so you're playing the 7 you hammer on the 10 and you pull off the 7 so what that means is you play the 7 hammer on the 10 with your little finger I'd advise putting this finger up to the fret as much as you can because it will give this chance to get on properly so watch and then pull it off so don't just lift it off like that because you'll have no note you've got to literally pull the note off hammer pull off and the next string 10 7 so i'll show you what that looks like there we go. Da, 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 da. And then we have this here. So this is a quarter bend on the seventh fret, third string. So let's get on the third string, seventh fret. And what a quarter bend means, a half bend is the next step up. So is there, that's a half bend. But a quarter bend is a slight bend. So it just takes it out of tune a little bit. So it gives a bit of movement there. So it's a small little bend. Uh, and then you move up a string and go 9, 7, 9. So. So. And then we go to 7 on the second string. And then 10, full bend on the second string. So a full bend means you're trying to reach two frets across. So if I play the 10 there, and I, I measure two frets across, I've got to create that note, but with the 10. So watch, there's a two frets up. So on the 10, I've got to bend it so it sounds like that 12. So. I'll do that one more time with the uh, actual tab up for the whole of that line. Righty ho, bit of a challenge for you there. If you're just used to playing open chords and wrist, it's nice to just put a bit of solo in there. You know, uh, 
a solo is just like a, a riff, but just extended. You know, there's no difference to me, really. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot. Bye.